Welcome back to the Volvo 5 cylinder channel. Today we're going to be looking at turbo exhaust, ho exhaust housings. Here is the 16T that comes standard on the Volvo 850R manual and only this model. It has this sort of step here at the uh, flange to the downpipe the 15G it is uh, conical and uh, with this conical surface it then uh, seals but the 16T has this uh, stepped flange Hopefully it's picking up on camera so if you are switching from a G series turbo to a T series you need to change the downpipe fitting there are adapters available for this so this is much easier nowadays then uh, if we go to next exhaust housing this is from a 19T the main difference here is basically the outlet this one has uh, an angle on it and the size is quite considerably different in size. One second, I'll have to do something about this light situation. So, <clears throat> there is a substantial size difference to these two. The 19T there being the bigger one. But we'll be focusing on this one for the remainder of the video. Uh, a common thing that you will find in almost all Mitsubishi turbos is when you look inside there will be a crack in the dividing wall. This is uh, more or less uh, probably installed from factory and very common and if the crack doesn't go all the way to the wastegate port then uh, you're you should be fine so this is one thing to check how far it's gone I've uh, when I mounted this one on my car it had actually the crack in it already and uh, I drove with it for many years without without any issues but when it comes to porting of these there are a, a few different things you can do to help the exhaust gas flow more freely. One area you can focus on is actually this area here where the exhaust first enter into, into the turbo. Try to smooth them out as much as possible. You can open this area up a bit, uh, but then again, you would need to have the same diameter, diameter or smaller compared to your exhaust manifold in this area here. So just make make this area. Don't make it bigger than the exhaust manifold. Just smaller. I used uh, an electric drill with a wire wheel on it, and I just pushed it down in there, and then made this area smooth as I could. Uh, then I proceeded with uh, some air tools, some dremels and other things and went down in and tried to make the walls, the castings, as smooth as possible, as uh, far away in as I could. Uh, this of course was not connected to the turbo like like this 16T here. I had it uh, loose so I don't get uh, any of the junk into the bearing areas. Yeah, this is turning out to be terrible camera work, so probably part two when I figure out how to videotape this, I'll make a better video. The other thing you can do is look inside what would be this area where the exhaust, exhaust goes into the downpipe, is to try to find these high spots and basically smooth them out. And then another thing, you have a bit of meat at the wastegate also that you can enlarge but as we can see here on this flange there is uh, not a lot you can take away from there perhaps 
uh, a millimeter in diameter at most. And just for shits and giggles, let's check the 16T and wouldn't you know, this one also has a crack in it, so I would still drive with that and consider it completely 100% usable for my needs. So there has not been too many videos for, for a while now, even though I aim to make more, but hopefully this will give you a bit of a general idea how you can do some basic porting if you have your turbo dismantled from your car. Uh, removing this exhaust post is, is very easy. I think it's a 10 millimeter bolt. You just open it and it will gently come off. And then you can just start to really clean up and then focus on is there any rough areas? Is there any high spots? Is there any sharp edges? Uh, a sharp edge, when it gets hot, will tend to crack. And this uh, dividing wall here is, is uh, actually proof of that. So, one good thing to do would be to take away these sharp areas, try to make everything as smooth as possible. Because you just want the exhaust to be very happy where it's going. Until next time, bye.